How do you get to understand and navigate your unique learning section of Q and get the best out of it? This is what this video is all about. This home screen will appear on your smartphone or dashboard, whichever you prefer to use when you have completed your Q questionnaire and your personalized Q is ready. So we're going to click on the learning icon now. There's a number of sections within learning, but we're going to start with making my learning easier. There's some videos so that you can understand about education and the facts about your brain. They're short and concise and very informative. And up here, there are two tabs and we're now going to click on how I like to learn best. Q looks at your seven key learning skills and relates it back to that original profile in the About Me section. It looks at reflection, questioning, managing failure, networking, finding relevance, planning, and action. And we're just going to click on one of these so you can see the journey it will take you on. So for this particular person's profile, we're going to look at their questioning preference, whether the style is internal, whether it's mild, moderate, or firm, or whether it's external. And in this instance, this particular person's style is internal mild. And Q explains they have a mild preference for internal discussion, listening to others. And this means that this person prefers to learn through listening, where they gather information from others about a topic. And they prefer less to learn by sharing their thoughts first and being the one doing all the talking. And as always, Q will link it back to that original profile to say why you have this particular style, as well as showing where you fall in terms of your natural strengths. To return to the previous screen, just click this back button here up on the top left-hand side. And then you have an opportunity to explore all these other top learning skills and see what that means for you. Now to return to that learning homepage, we're going to click on this icon down the bottom of your screen. What Q does is take all the information about your top learning skills and applies it to surviving the classroom, managing homework, controlling revision, succeeding at exams. And we're just going to explore one of these right now because they have exactly the same format, just a different subject. So what's the impact of your seven key learning skill preferences. What Q will do is look at your natural classroom strengths, working from your most to least comfortable. And for this particular person's profile, they like to work on their own. They follow instructions, they're comfortable with that. And if we whiz down to the end, we can see what they're least comfortable with, answering questions in class. We're now going to tap the top tips section in Survive the Classroom because it will give you top tips to be able to manage those gaps. So for this particular person, there's an option to review all these learning skills. But for now, we're just going to go into questioning. Because this person had a preference for internal discussion and listening to others, Q will give them some top tips in terms of how they can work with others more effectively. So they can build that potential gap. So they can build more skills and feel more confident when they need to do this. Now we're going to return to that learning home screen. And the structure that was in Survive the Classroom is also exactly the same in Manage My Homework, Control My Revision, and Succeed at Exams. Next, we're going to look at goal setting. It's important when we set goals that we're aware that we have risks when we do embark on them. And knowing what these risks are gives you the best chance of goal success. There are a number of risks. Enthusiasm to begin, taking the first steps, being distracted, seeking support, making progress. So we're just going to click on one of these to explore it. And then that's the same format that will be used for all the others. So for this particular profile, the science says that they are self-confident rather than self-critical. What does this mean? It means that this person is comfortable with who they are. However, 
it may cause them to underestimate the extent to which they need to improve. And this could mean that they don't start activities in achieving the goal. Q helps them understand what they can do to address this. And there'll also be some support exercises in there. When we want to return back to the main screen, you can press this back button here on the top left hand side. And then you can continue to explore these different factors that can impact your ability to be successful with your goals. There's another key factor that's important to explore with goal setting, and it's your motivation's influence when you set the goal. We're going to click on that, and it will take you to the hierarchy of motivations that influence you when setting goals. For this particular profile, harmony and engagement are their top preferences. And Q will explain what these actually mean. Q will also explore about why you have those particular motivations, where they fit in terms of the strength of the behavior, and also highlight to you that none of us have all these motivations as strengths naturally. We also have a low energy motivation that can impact the execution of a goal. And if you know what yours is, it can help you manage it. And it will explain to you what that is and what you can do to manage it more effectively. So I've just returned to the home screen by tapping this learning icon down the bottom of the screen. The next section we're going to explore in learning is manage my subjects. From your original questionnaire that you completed, Q can work out what your top subject themes are. And for this particular person, it's inventive, conceptual, and flexible. Q just looks at the top three strongest. That's not to say that you can't do any subject you want, but these are the ones you probably find more easy to do as they're in line with your strengths. So let's just click on conceptual. Q explains that conceptual subjects are the ones that involve thinking about big or future issues. And it explains why you fall into that category based on your profile. And also explains where your natural strength lies and whether it's firm, moderate or mild. If you would like to return to the previous screen to be able to explore your other top subject themes, then you just return on that back button. For now, we're going to go and explore subject fit. What Q has done is looked at those three natural strengths you have and looked at those subjects that are actually going to fit with you more easily. However, it's really important that you're aware of your own interests, your motivations, your beliefs and values when considering your subject options and what it is that you want to do. So for this particular person, because of their top themes and subjects, these are the subjects that they'll find easier to do. Q never tells you that you shouldn't do any subject. It'll just show you where one is going to be, feel much more easier than another. Q also lists these subjects A to Z. So you can look up a particular subject and see how it fits with you. Now we're going to return to the home screen by clicking on this Q icon here at the top left hand side. And in the next video, we will explore careers.